Okay, I'm fresh off of a week in Ibiza. As you can see, I'm burnt, I'm ill, I'm brown, and I'm tired. But I can't rest because Doctor Who's just been released. Do you know what I think? So I was on a plane when Doctor Who came out in the UK, and then I realized, hang on, all of the Americans, they've already all got their videos up before I'd even landed. So yeah, I now disagree with the whole release date thing. Guys, I've not seen anything. I don't know if these episodes are good. I don't know if they're bad. I don't know if they're, they're funny, sad. So today I'm gonna be reacting to episode one and episode two of the brand new series of Doctor Who. I've been waiting for this for so long. It's been six months since the 60th. Six months since David Tennant came back. And now, me and him, we're going to sit together. We're going to watch the brand new series of Doctor Who. I'm so excited. Right, I'm going to stop waffling. Unfortunately, I'm not joined by Sophie, so just me. Let's do it. Oh, okay, we're not even we're not even getting a cold open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they fixed it! They fixed it! Oh my god, yes! That looks so much better. I'm so happy with that. That was like my biggest gripe. They actually fixed it. Good start. I'm the doctor. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Say doctor for a thousand years and it becomes my name. I just love him. I think he's so cool. Inside is a time and space machine, but outside it's, it's like a chameleon. I like we're just we're just getting all of the exposition out of the way now for the new viewers. Yeah, yeah. My world is called Gallifrey. And where's that? Gone! Again. It's gone again. Bloody Chibnall, I tell you, I tell you, Chibnall. So the one that was adopted was the only one left? The Gallifrey, oh, Murray Gold! Wait! I'm a bit unsure about um, Millie Gibson. She's a bit over the top, but I, you know what? It's like kids show. I have to remember, like it's not, you know. Oh, look at the visuals, the Disney budget. This will be North America. Of course, we have to get a little mention of America in there because Doctor Who's American now. Because I'm Ruby Bond Blue, the 57th Hemisphere Hatchlings, and I do not do wrong things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't like that. I know what they were trying to do. The whole joke on the butterfly effect. I don't like that. I didn't like that at all, actually. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love the way the TARDIS lands in now. It just smashes in. Most of the universe is knackered, babes. Most of the universe is knackered, babes. <laughs> I've realised like most of the trailer footage has been in this opening 10 minutes. <laughs> wow! So why did it give me the shivers? Oh god, I can already see the YouTubers coming out being like, This doctor is a pussy! This doctor is a pussy! He runs away, he's a pussy and he cries! Oh, that's horrific. We went to the stars. Bit cringe. Bit cringe. I don't have a people, I don't have a home. I don't have a boss or taxes or rent or bills to pay. I mean, I appreciate this moment and all, and it's nice, but I'm... And I get this isn't Russell T Davis's fault, because this is what Chris... This is Chris Chibnall's doing. I'm so tired of this doctor has his planet taken away and he's a loner again and then... Oh, it's been 20 years since this arc started. We came through it and then Chris Chibnall's like, nope, destroy it again. And now I've got to go through it all again and I'm just like really tired of it. Carla, Fauna, but your mum. This is literally the end of the world. I keep getting these temperature fluctuations. We're flipping up safety bulbs 10 to 6. Oh no, no, no. We've been waiting for an awfully long time. Oh no, 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 I don't know. Space babies! <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm a bit thrown, to be honest. <laughs> He looks terrified. I'm still a bit iffy with the whole mouth sinking, but they've actually worked with it quite well, I think. Nobody grows up wrong. It's a nice little message to send out there. <laughs> the bogeyman. The bogeyman. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> 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 
Why is the doctor doing this? It's so sadistic. Who is that? It's snowing. Okay. okay. Nice, it's snow, and we've got... Something so weird's going on. I'm so confused. I mean, it's obviously all going to be explained, isn't it? If you leave this, you sink up. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? How convenient is that? That's the fate of every refugee in the universe. You physically have to turn up on someone else's shore. Is this political commentary I'm, I'm tasting? <laughs> He's got a little wooden sword. <laughs> oh, no, Ruby's just got a child killed. That's not good. Oh, no, Ruby, what have you done? Yeah, the monster's coming. The monster's coming. There you go. Oh, this is tense. I didn't even jump. Piss off. Oh! They just once upon a time in Hollywood did it. Man, that's a good word. Spur. What the bleep bleep is that? <laughs> Fecal matter. Poo? Ruby, I have traveled the universe. It's poo, in it? A bogeyman is made out of what? Bogies. It's bogies. It's so stupid, man. This is so stupid. I like how there's still a bit of naffness to the monster as well. It's being sucked off! It's being sucked off! Is it one of the children? I thought it was just made of bogeys. How do you think I mean, the shots look great, but I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I missed it. Did he say it was one of the children? As far as I was aware, it was just a thing the computer generated made of mucus. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not buying it. We can't pull this number. Oh, now he's being sucked off too. Push the button and let me know. Save the day. Look at that. I'm a little bit confused, I can't lie. I must have missed something because I'm not following. For six years, a great pile of nanny filter fizzle. <laughs> Such cheap humour, that. Oh, that's just pure methane. Love that. He's asking her to move in. What sort of Christmas is this? It all started with this man. Yeah, I like her. <laughs> what the bleak? <laughs> He's doing the old uh, Amy Pond technique. And it's snowing again. That was, um, that, that was something. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, was it on level with like the 11th hour? N no, not really. It, it's not, it's not one of them episodes where you're going to like be like, oh, do you remember Space Babies? What I will say, there is a lot of energy. Like there's a lot of energy. Like you can tell it's made for a new generation, a generation of iPad kids, because there's a lot going on. And Russell T. Davis is clearly going for a very new, like fast paced style, which works. I was entertained thoroughly the whole way through. Uh, I enjoyed it. A few confusing moments. I'm not entirely sure about the ending to that episode, which is a common thing with Russell C. Davis's like new episodes. I'm very like, what, what? I don't, but it was fun. It was a good series opener. And I think a lot of people do forget that Doctor Who is just supposed to be fun. Everyone's got so wrapped up that everything needs to be about the Doctor being this mystical God and God, he's so alone and, and life's really hard and everything's got to have severe like emotional weight. This is what I wanted from the new series. I wanted fun. I wanted to come away and be like, that was a good experience, that was enjoyable, that was new and exciting. And I think this episode really delivered that. The lip syncing on the babies was questionable, but it wasn't like so bad to the point that it ruined the episode. The episode was fun and that's all I wanted. I'll probably do like a series review once the series is done and wrapped. That was a pretty solid start. I quite enjoyed it. Shooting at what is just fresh air. I love it. And now, We've got to move on to episode two, The Devil's Cord. I know this one is going to be absolutely stacked with cheese. Uh, as long as the episode, again, is fun, interesting, and tries something new, I'm happy. This is going to be an interesting one. This is the Beatles episode, um, along with uh, Jinx Monsoon. So let's get started. Oh, 
1925. Can't you play something more exciting, sir? There is one thing you might like. It's called the Devil's Chord. Ooh. <laughs> Makes you shiver, doesn't it? Anyone could play that chord. That was a very simple. Okay, never mind. I'll take it back. <laughs> Get away from him. Them. What? Me. Anytime something like this happens, I, just, I can sense the anti-woke. But it's so sad! Tiffity and strangled inside you. Hell of a performance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? I mean, the performance is working. I'm very uncomfortable right now. Okay. I just, I just think it's so different. It's so cool. And this, I'm so glad. Is this the musical episode? I'm very, very worried about it. I want to see the Beatles recording their very first album. That is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very interested to see how they go about this because I know that the copyright to use the Beatles music is like one of like the highest prices. I get that they've got Disney budget, but they ain't got that kind of budget. It's all in the air, you hear it <laughs> so cool. Uh, I've missed it. I've missed it. And how do we get in? Well, they ask who we are. Are we going to see the psychic paper? Oh, uh, yeah, there's always a Janet. Wow, I was expecting the psychic paper. We got something, albeit convenient. Interested. I've got a dog, he's called Fred. My dog is alive, he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. I love that. I love you, you love me. We are two, we are not. <laughs> How much? It's outrageous. outrageous. <laughs> it all it, it's embarrassing. Singing. Fascinating. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cheesy. It's such an interesting premise, though. Yeah, this is brilliant. Do you know what you are with your ideas, pal? Disgusting. You are disgusting. He's got great eyes, by the way. <laughs> I live over there. That's cool. I'm there right now. 1963, I parked the TARDIS in a junkyard and I live there with my granddaughter Susan. I'm glad they somewhat addressed that because it's like, it is weird to think about. The Sonic Screwdriver's pink! My opinion on it might change now. I quite like a pink Sonic Screwdriver, that's cool. Oh, hang on a minute. That's a Murray Gold piece. That's been used before. Ah, uh, I can't think of it off the top. Of that's 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 a Murray Gold piece. I'm gonna have to YouTube it. Oh, that's the giggle. No way. Yeah, I mean, obviously they were gonna be linked. Okay, so this is the toy makers sort of doing. All this is happening because David Tennant decided to pour some salt on the edge of the universe. I forgive him though. Because I love him. I heard music. <laughs> God, they're great, aren't they? What a performance. Jump scare coming. Jump scare coming. What is happening? <laughs> this is fascinating. Oh, Granny's gonna play some tunes. <laughs> Literally, it tore my soul in half. I can't survive that again. I mean, it didn't seem that traumatic when it happened, to be fair. I was born in 2004. She was born in 2004. Ah, oh, I'm getting old. The cinematography in this episode so far as well has been sublime. Damn. Looks sensational. 
Oh, the episode's about to get really trippy, isn't it? <laughs> cool. It's all of life extinguished. I'm going solo. <laughs> <laughs> and you might be bright and hot and timey-wimey. <laughs> Every atom hums and anything that plays a tune is This is probably one of the best villains I've seen in decades, uh, years, years, since in the decades that this show started. This is, they have put Neil Patrick Harris to shame. A lot of Dutch angles in this episode, isn't there? Okay, we can record the right tune on the Sonic. We can Man, you can't just plug your Sonic into everything. Uh oh. I thought that was non diegetic. I thought that was non diegetic. <laughs> Brilliant. That was a really good line. I like that one. Playing love sick songs for heartbroken lesbians. <laughs> this is like something else. I, haven't, I can't even react because I'm just like beautiful. Yeah. Music battle. Okay. What am I watching? <laughs> What's going on? I hope he gets it wrong. He got it wrong! Thank you. <laughs> it's going to be the Beatles, isn't it? It's going to be the Beatles that saved the day, yeah. Oh, so the shot from the trailer is him. Wow. <laughs> the one who waits is almost here. I'm excited to see that one. The moral of the story was that the Beatles were the true geniuses all along. Wow. What? <laughs> What's going on? Was that Murray Gold? Murray Gold had a cameo. That's so cool. <laughs> That was, that was something. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. That was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And listen, I know there probably is some issues with it. Um, it's one of them that I have to watch a second time. I, I watch every episode about 15 times, but I'm so glad the ending wasn't the Doctor is a genius and we'll guess the note and then Maestro gets banished i thought that would have been a very russell t davis ending but that was so good that was so good i mean the 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 message behind the story was good that that music is what drives the human race because it's if you think about music you sort of have this existential crisis where you're like how did we come up with that like where did that come from how did we do you know what i mean it's, it's weird jinx monsoon was sensational and i'm sorry neil patrick harris doesn't even hold a candle to that performance that was sensational the cinematic photography was beautiful the visuals were stunning the story was so fun uh, i i that was that is what i've been missing and that's that, that reassures me so much that the show is back on the right track you can put all your identity politics arguments out there oh they've mentioned lesbians or oh, this person's black this person's asian this person's what who cares and i can guarantee these anti-woke youtubers i know i harp on a lot about it because I, I just i'm so tired of it these anti-woke youtubers if they just put their mind away from the message and actually just watch the story that was about as good as it gets in terms of a good fun doctor who story uh which is leading up to something more dark which i'm so excited for that was such an experience and i'm i'm so glad it was good it was so good. I will watch them again and proper break them down and, and, and really analyse what the issues are, what's great about this series so far. Ultimately, all in all, I had a great time watching it and that is what is important. And people do need to remember this. Like, it doesn't always need to be so serious and have this really, like, sensational story with really convoluted storylines and art. Like, 
just make it a good enjoyable watch and 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 i'm happy and i am very happy let me know your opinions down below i'm going to be reading all of them i know there's going to it's going to be mixed i know it please let me know i'm open to hearing your criticisms i'm open to hearing your praises i want to know i want to know what everyone thinks about this new series because i'm loving it so far uh right i'm going now because i'm burnt and i and I need, I need to edit so bye thanks bye <laughs>